much. Oh, thank you, ring light. It turned off. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my March TBR for 2019. If you guys are new to my channel, then you don't know this. But my mom always picks my TBR and she always has some sort of theme that goes along with why she chose the books that she chose. So this month she chose books that all were very, very purple because I am very, very purple. Hair, nails, usually my entire life purple. So that's the theme for this month. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that she chose for the TBR is called First and this is by Lori Elizabeth Flynn. This book follows a girl named Mercedes who has always had an open door policy for her bedroom but there's only one rule. The boy needs to be a virgin and she does this because she didn't have the best first time experience so she wants to let the boys get all of their fumbles and whatnot out so that when they go and find somebody that they really love they can give them the first time that they've always deserved. She's kept this whole operation secret for a very long time. Her mother doesn't know because she's never really home. Her best friend Angela doesn't like discussing anything about sex. She's very very religious and that's when Angela's boyfriend discovers this little policy and he decides that he's going to take it for a little spin and things get a little complicated. I think it could be an interesting story because I'm pretty sure Mercedes starts falling for the boyfriend and like that's the trouble kind of thing. So I'm intrigued. Cheating is bad though so we'll see what we think. The next book that she chose is called The Future of Us and this is by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler and this whole storyline actually sounds really interesting. It's set in 1996 and it follows two best friends, Josh and Emma, and they end up receiving a CD-ROM in the mail one day and they decide to install it onto the computer and that's when Facebook pops up. The only thing is Facebook's never been invented but they both have profiles from 15 years in the future and every time they refresh it changes their future and they can basically like see what's gonna happen. Seems kind of cool. I think it would make a pretty interesting movie. Like the concept of it. Who knows if the book is good or not? I don't because I haven't read it yet, but hopefully we get to it this month. The next book, I am actually really excited that she picked it because I think it sounds really cool and also I was like reading the synopsis to figure out like how to explain it in this video and I took the dust jacket off and it is gorgeous underneath. Do you see this? So pretty, but it's The Fever King by Victoria Lee. It follows a 16 year old. He is the sole survivor of a viral magic attack that killed his entire family and left him as a technopath. This means that he has the ability to control technology and that gains the interest of the American government. Gnome is the son of immigrants and so he's very aware of the problems that they face. This makes him very aware of how the government deports his people and that makes him realize that he can use his new position with the government for a change. He hatches a plan to use the knowledge that the government is teaching him on how to control his powers and the science behind this magic in order to overthrow them, but then he ends up meeting the son of the minister and things change. Apparently it's super gay and apparently it's very very good, so I'm very excited to read it. The next book, I've heard a lot of like mixed reviews on it. A lot of people rate it 5 out of 5 stars, but then a lot of people have been rating it too stars so iffy but we're gonna see what I think of it but it is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. I honestly don't know much about it other than every year eight girls are chosen as paper girls and they like serve the king but then a ninth girl is chosen and she's made of fire which I'm guessing means she's like super rebellious because I'm doubting she's actually made of fire and the other girls are made of paper so but I could be wrong but yeah that's really all I know I'm guessing that it's gonna be like a rebellion or something but then the girl who's made of fire ends up falling in love and it's forbidden so forbidden romance I'm here for it but I'm pretty sure it's a female female romance too could be very wrong please don't quote me on that but I think that's what it is so I'm intrigued we love us 
some female female romances up in this house so I'm very excited about this one. The next one is a very old book that I've had on my shelf for a very long time and I still have not read it but it's Faded by Alison Noel and it follows this girl who starts seeing visions and her mom like freaks out and she's like oh my god she crazy but then she sends her to live with her grandmother and her grandmother tells her that this actually means that she is a soul seeker and this means that she has the ability to navigate between the living and the dead and then she meets a boy obviously and everything changes obviously paranormal romance we're gonna see how it goes I have very differing feelings about paranormal romances to be honest I either love them or I hate them there isn't really an in-between so we'll see where this falls and then the final one is a very very purple book and it is unearthly and this is by Cynthia Hand I've read Cynthia Hand before and I usually really enjoy her writing so we're hoping we like this one it's about angels and that's all I really know I'm uh, gonna assume uh, she falls in love with somebody I think she's the angel and then she meets a boy and he's not an angel. It's real shiny. It goes off the ring light real well, you know? So, blinding. So, um, sorry for the gross lighting, but my ring light just died and it's like 10 o'clock at night. So, we're dealing with it, but I just have to do my wrap up, so it's fine. So, yeah, that was my March TBR. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.